Josh and I were not that close when when um, I was a young boy. We were close because we were in the same family, but but then in a way we kind of got closer in the last few years after my parents passed away because I became Josh's guardian and we just began spending more time together, I think. Josh was a sort of a pioneer uh, in the treatment of autism in a way because no one really understood when Josh was a boy what was going on. Isn't that true? I, st I still want to know, right? Yeah. Yeah, you do. But that doesn't matter. You're happy. That's all. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm very happy. Right? That's all that counts. What, what is autism? What's that in my back? What is autism? Yeah. Well, um, I think my brother has a 70-something IQ. Uh, he has profound anxiety disorder. He perseverates uh, constantly. Um, he's unable to control his emotions. Please. Stand straight. Right. God, this head. Tilt it, bring it. <laughs> okay, what's going on? Should I see a therapist that <laughs> Not necessarily. I'm fine. I'm fine where I'm You're fine. great. You're great just the way you are. My brother's been about 25 years or so in the Bancroft system. He's one of the grand old men. So these people, the, 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 the direct care staff, I've always admired them because I know how hard he is to deal with. Uh, not only do they deal with him, but they actually show him genuine love, which is, you know, incredibly gratifying for a family member to see, obviously. The, the downside, um, is the turnover. Bancroft's better than the average. Um, they're a wonderful facility. However, the, the reality of the situation is direct care staff are paid very, very little. And understandably, they leave for better jobs elsewhere. And for someone like my brother, whose uh, emotional life is always on the brink of collapse, and needs constant reassurance. The removal of people who are substitute parents at a regular clip is incredibly destabilizing for him. Not always. Fortunately, there's some long-term uh, people at Bancroft who um, have been with him now for a good while, and he's incredibly attached to them. My brother moved to the Flickr Center um, about four years ago. That's the center at Bancroft for the older residents. And in his own words, I'm retired. What, is, what makes you happiest about being here? That I got, got a lot of people, and I lose other people too, Eli. It makes you happy too, Eli. You know, he's adjusted to his life. He's living a life with dignity and um, joy and fulfillment. And, um, you know, that's really all you can ask. Josh? Bye. Say goodbye. Goodbye, Eli. Yeah, thank you for a wonderful visit. Nice to be with you, Eli. Give me a real hug. Real hug. The world of the adult uh, individual with autism is sorely underrepresented, both at the policy level, federally and state, and most of all, um, in general. It's just not talked about. My brother is lucky. He's in a beautiful place with a great fit, and he's happy. But the waiting lists are as long as your arm for these places. And the amount of anxiety that parents go through as their children uh, pass the age of 21 and have to shift over to state-by-state -state funding, losing all their federal monies and support under the Department of Education, is terrible to behold. It was heartrending, heartrending. These people are desperate. This population is desperate. They have no voice.